that sleeping show made me hungry. Oh, excuse me. Oh, don't you worry. I'll come back later for a good scratch. Now's our chance to move the guests to their new snack. One problem, Captain. We haven't found a new snack to move them to. Then maybe we can move this snack. I figure I can lift it with the Terragub one without harming it. All right, me hearties. You need to abandon ship and snag just for a bit while we move it. I'm sticking to this tree no matter what. I'm afraid we can't go anywhere either. Our egg is about to hatch, so I sealed up our nest to keep them safe. Them? Are you saying Mrs Hornbill is sealed inside there too? Only for five months? Just until our chick is old enough to fly? It's not so bad. There's a little hole where I bring them food. But they're not going anywhere for now. We can't risk harming the hornbills. Looks like we'll have to move this tree upright. It'll be a little wobbly, Kip. But the Cherigub One can handle it. I can use my map to lead you on the smoothest path to the safest location, just across the river. Excellent. Wazi and I will stay behind to make sure a teeth doesn't follow you. Careful around the roots, Tweak. Whoa! Careful! Sorry about that, Mrs. Hornbill. We'll be fine. Just as soon as we make it across that rope bridge. Hey! Where'd my scratching tree go? Now, Atif, I'm sorry, but the creatures in that tree were in danger, so we had to move it. Plenty more trees in the forest, matey. We can help you find one, like this one. Sleek, stylish, a real itch scratcher. But I want my scratching tree. <sighs> hey! Come back with that. <sighs> That's it, Tweak. Slow and steady. Yes, steady is good. Please be careful. My wife and chick are inside. Uh, I can do the slow part, but not so sure about steady. <laughs> oh, no, no. Forget slow. A teeth is right on our tail. Hold on, a teeth. Let me pass. That's my scratching tree. No can do, matey. There are creatures in that snag. Oh, no! Tweak, open the hatch! Oh, little legs, don't go so fast. Here! Hop on! Don't mind if I do. I'll follow the fence! Travel and start! Oh, I stay out! Is it just me? Or is it getting hotter in here? Yow! Lava, we have to hurry! This would be a lot easier if I were bigger and faster! Come on, Hazo! My Uncle Gary always says it doesn't matter how big or fast you are, you just gotta be tough! <sighs> Sleepy at a time like this. When water bears get really hot, we go to sleep until it's safe to wake up. You see what I mean? Just a little bit further. Look out! Whoa! Everybody okay? I think so. Water bears? Uh, yeah, uh, we're good. Are you okay? Never yeah, better. Wake me when it cools down. Good. Now let's move. Wait, where's Frank? Uh, he, he was just here. Yo, Frankie! Frank, where are you? He must have fallen off. He's not here. But that means he's somewhere back there. On the other side of those rocks? We can't leave him behind. Don't worry, Peso. We'll find a way to get through that rock pile. But we'll have to hurry. Allow me, Captain. Your turn. <coughs> I can see the other side. One of you will have to swim through. <laughs> <laughs> 
That tunnel's too small for me. But it's just the right size for me. <coughs> it's all up to you, Peso. I'm coming for you, Frank. <sighs> Frank, where are you? He could be anywhere. Frank, is that you? Frank! Oh, thank goodness. Flappity flippers! Hey, so, hurry! Are we going for a ride? Let's go! Octonauts, keep going! <sighs> we made it! Hooray! That was a close one! Yes. With no signal, we can't use the map on our Octo watches! Like I always say, a backup gets your back out. This compass should point us in the right direction. <gasps> Look! Poor Prince! Maybe it's the new species you've been looking for, Shellington. Or maybe it's a cave monster! A ferocious beastie! Guarding his cave pearl treasure! Forcing any pirate who dares trespass on his domain to solve a riddle! Or a math problem! Or a recipe for tapping on the pudding! And if he gets the answer wrong! Huh. These prints look feline to me. I'm feline too, Shellington. And these cat paw prints are much bigger than mine. Something's found its way in from that direction. That means there's a way out. Oh, cave monster. Quasi. In all my years of caving, I've never seen a cave monster. Well, there's something stalking us. And now I know why. We found its cave pearl treasure trove. Quasi. Um, I don't think that's such a good idea. What? I'm not afraid of any scallywag cave monster. <sighs> I think we need to move along now. Quick, in the river. Our octo packs double as flotation devices. <laughs> I lost my compass in the rapids. Ah, uh, don't worry, mateys. The other octonauts will find us. Unless that creature finds us first. Uh, which way now? Only one way to tell for sure. The pirate way. Because a pirate never loses his sense. Yeah! Uh, right then, we don't go this way. Uh, I found it! The way out? No! But I think I've discovered a new species of woodlouse. Woodlice on the surface are dark coloured, but creatures who live in the dark are often white or have no colour at all. That's nice. Now, would you mind shining that light somewhere else? It's hurting my eyes. Oh, sorry. Ahoy, matey. I'm Quasi, and this is Shellington and Ryla. Any chance you know the way out of here? Well, I don't know which way is out because I can't see from living in the dark. But I could tell you that that way is cold and wet, and that way is warm and dry. Warm and dry means sunlight, and sunlight means a way out. Ready? Go! Ooh, oh, it's working! <laughs> It's ready. Oh, maybe I should just stay here. Don't give up, them. Treek will figure something out. Vroom. Hmm. Wow, walk when you can roll. With this wheel from my gut bam, you won't need to walk on your front leg. How's that feel? Weird. Maybe I should just wait until my leg feels better. Uh, not 
not sure that's such a good idea. Maybe it's another recent. No, not a recent. It's definitely a bear, and he looks hungry. Hey, who's been eating all my roots and berries? Oh no, I am doomed. Don't worry, Vim. I'll be right here with you. Vroom. Mm. Well, maybe I'll be okay, as long as the bear doesn't see us. But even from this distance, he might smell us. <clears throat> oh, we've got to get out of here. Oh. You can do it. Mm. <clears throat> oh, oh. Okay, I'll try. Huh. Oh, I, I, I think I'm getting the hang of this. That's good, because the hungry-looking bear spotted us. A weasant. Yum! <laughs> Forget roots and berries. You look much tastier. Ah! <laughs> oh dear! To the meadow! <laughs> Hang on, Periwinkle! Uh, hey, snacks! Come back! <laughs> That's it, Ben. You're doing it! Oh, I like fast food, but not that fast. Oh. I can't see them. They're on their way. And fast! Change of plan, Peso. We need to lift off right away. <gasps> Blappity flippers. Is that a bear? <laughs> Come on, Vim. You can do it. You want me to go in bed? Don't worry, Vim. I'm here with you. <clears throat> Vroom, vroom. Oh, my snack is flying away. All right, back to my berries. To the octoray. Wow, look at that. I'm Captain Barnacles. I like to go with the flow. Above and beyond. <laughs> <laughs>